What is AREDS? Ever heard of it? <clears throat> Age-related eye disease um, and supplements. Basically, they looked at um, antioxidants, vitamins C, E, uh, beta carotene, and zinc for age-related uh, macular de degeneration. Macular degeneration, age-related, is a major cause of uh, blindness, and obviously blindness is a huge disability. Um, <clears throat> they got great results from it. So actually, there is a huge, um, huge need to look at um, certain supplements, antioxidants, uh, related to eye disease and blindness. Now, let's get a little bit more into detail on this. Uh, first, a... Um, a, an introduction, Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R, -E uh, medical director and uh, founder of PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, cancer, disability prevention. Um, <clears throat> I was uh, talking with uh, some, uh, some friends and colleagues, uh, uh, James West, who uh, founded uh, My Genetics, um, Genetics Lab, and uh, Craig Brown, Dr. Brown is an ophthalmologist who uh, developed uh, a, um, a formulation for uh, the AREDS related um, uh, medications. Uh, let's look at the, um, uh, the study itself for just a minute and then actually spend most of our time in the National Eye Institute um, Q&A regarding AREDS formulation and age-related macular degeneration. So if you look at, uh, look up AREDS, A-R-E-D-S, and again, I know the, the, video, the visuals are not great, but it's, you can find it in JAMA, you can find it in several other um, um, sources, uh, uh, National Eye Institute, um, you can also find it in the National Library of Medicine. This one was on the Archives of Ophthalmology. Um, this was actually, uh, one of these was as far back as 2001. Uh, there are about 12 different sources for it. Again, AREG, age-related eye disease. Um, it was a clinical trial for a high-dose supplementation. Vitamin C, E, beta carotene, zinc, um, and most of the formulations now actually include a little bit of copper, uh, mostly to prevent uh, overreaction of your body to zinc. Let me just um, <clears throat> now go through some of the Q and A. This is uh, the National uh, National Eye Institute uh, questions and answers regarding. Um, the AREDS formulation. First of all, who should take it? People are at high risk for developing uh, age-related macular degeneration, um, and that's age-related, so older people. Now, you should see your uh, ophthalmologist uh, and ask him about it. There are, is some uh, in uh, genetic predisposition. If you're a young person and you have uh, family members with uh, AMD, it, this really didn't deal with young people. Um, so again, you, sh you should talk with your doc. What is the dosage within the uh, AREDS formulations? Uh, 500 milligrams of vitamin C, 400 international units of vitamin E, 15 milligrams of beta carotene, um, or uh, 25,000 international units. That's vitamin A. So we're talking about vitamin A, C, E, 80 milligrams of zinc as zinc oxide and two milligrams of copper as cup cupric oxide. Now this is, creates an interesting um, connection. You know, I've <clears throat> done some study and work with uh, Alzheimer's prevention. One of the major concerns about Alzheimer's is a disconnect with the what they call the copper zinc ratio their disconnect has to do with having too much copper and not enough zinc and one of the uh, recommendations for prevention of dementia is adding zinc that's actually exactly what this is doing you're adding zinc the only reason for adding any copper at all is to prevent uh, 
a, um, an anemia associated with adding too much zinc without any copper. Um, <clears throat> another interesting connection here, if you go back to uh, embryology, the retina, the, uh, the retina of the eye comes from the very same tissue as the brain. So maybe it's not so surprising that um, uh, a, a high copper over zinc ratio, in other words, not enough zinc, is associated with both dementia, Alzheimer's dementia, and age-related macular degeneration. Now, let's go on uh, back to the Q&A associated with um, uh, A-REDS vitamins. Can a daily vitamin alone provide the same high levels of antioxidants as zinc as the A-REDS formulation? No, these are considerably higher than what you would get in a daily multivitamin. How about diet alone? Uh, can it provide the same and antioxidants and zinc? No, again, these are, these are high levels. Um, now, <clears throat> previous studies have suggested people uh, t uh, eating diets rich in green leafy vegetables may have a lower, uh, lower risk of developing AMD. And again, those vegetables are sources for A, C, E, and, uh, and zinc. Will taking the AREDS formulation prevent me from developing uh, AMD? Well, <clears throat> it has been shown to decrease the amount of AMD, the, uh, the, the, the level of seriousness. Um, it hasn't been shown to, uh, to totally wipe it out, and it hasn't been shown to totally prevent it. Uh, it decreases the risk for people that have risk by about 25% over a six-year period. It'll last, uh, it does appear to last longer than that, but uh, again, we don't have data on exactly how long. Are there any uh, side effects from the AREDS formulation? Well, <clears throat> uh, minor side effects, uh, urinary tract problems, um, uh, yellowing of the skin, uh, you know, associated with beta carotene. Uh, uh, are former smokers at increased risk for developing lung cancer if they have high doses of beta carotene? Um, <clears throat> no evidence of an increased risk of lung cancer in for, former smokers. However, do, uh, many studies do suggest that uh, they maintain, they, former smokers maintain some risk of lung cancer after stopping smoking. As you know, that decreases each year for, well, I think it's like five years. Five, five to ten years, it's basically essentially back to normal. Cigarettes, uh, most people are concerned about cigarettes causing lung uh, cancer. Actually, the biggest focus, the biggest concern with cigarettes, they kill far more people with heart attack than uh, lung cancer. Should young people take it again? There's no, uh, no discussion, no research associated with young people. And will vi high dose vitamin E in the in the AREDS increase my risk for um, risk of prostate cancer? Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of research going on about about that. There's some debate about that. Right now, it's not so clear uh, that it uh, that what that it does at all. Um, in Increased risk when it was found was maybe one or two more prostate cancers per thousand people taking it. So if there's risk, uh, it does appear to be very minimal. And uh, we can talk about this level of seriousness of uh, prostate cancers we found in, uh, in another, um, another video. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. <clears throat>